I'm going to talk to you about vitamin D today. I'll try to be short and sweet, but it, that short and sweet will also take about 10 minutes. So I hope you bear with me and listen to me if you can. Vitamin D is not a vitamin, it's a hormone. And a hormone of the family of steroid hormones. So steroids, after all, are not so dangerous as, as most, of, most of us think. This is the only steroid hormone which is produced with the help of sunlight from outside and with the help of cholesterol from inside. Cholesterol in the skin and sunlight from outside. This is a long story so I want to cut it short. Vitamin D is a hormone which controls the hormones especially the parathyroid hormone as well as, that, as well as insulin hormone. Great thing about it is that insulin production and insulin utilization both are controlled by vitamin D and if vitamin D is low parathyroid hormone also starts misbehaving and you start losing your bones. Vitamin D has got many many advantages but I'll give you the basic ones. So first is hormone looks after other hormones has controls the whole body. Secondly, vitamin D is the immunity modulator. It modulates the immunity of the body, both innate immunity as well as learned immunity. That means if some antigen goes inside the body, which is a offending organism, offending thing, offending allergen, allergy, then the body fights with it through physical barriers, chemical barriers, and through the cells that go and try to eat that offending organism or stuff or thing. But the learned immunity is that the body tries to learn what kind of bacteria, what kind of allergen it was, and then keeps the memory so that in future, if that kind of stuff comes in, then the body goes with millions of uh, white cells to fight that offending organism, and that is called allergy immunity. The third most important uh, function of vitamin D is that it prevents as well as cures, prevents as well as treats all the cancers in the body, all the cancers, 100% of them. It prevents through its role in the genetic system, that means DNA. DNA regulation is also done with vitamin D's help. So cancer is when genetic changes occur and the cell DNA, DNA goes into mutation and starts misbehaving. And a cell, instead of becoming two and four and eight and 16, may start becoming millions and millions and millions and that's what the cancer is. Vitamin D doesn't allow this to happen, so it prevents cancer. In addition, whenever there is a dysfunction of that DNA and the cells, which are now becoming cancerous, vitamin D also controls them. You must have heard that within last 50 years, maximum 100 years, the quantity of cancers in the whole body in the human race has gone sky high. Same has happened to the diabetes and same has happened to allergies. So everywhere vitamin D is the culprit, not the culprit, but deficiency of vitamin D is the culprit. And deficiency has happened because of the pollution, mainly because of the pollution and our lifestyle and our food, etc., which I'll talk sometimes later. If the solar energy cannot reach us because of the pollution, then that wavelength which I talked about, ultraviolet B, will not go inside the skin and convert the 7-dehydrocholesterol, a precursor of cholesterol, into cholecalciferol. Cholecalciferol is called vitamin D3. So vitamin D3 
comes from cholesterol but we have become enemy of the cholesterol for other reasons which also we'll discuss sometimes later. Now the fourth and the final the most important function of vitamin D is calcium channel regulator. Channel means like a telephone is a channel, computer is a channel, sound is a channel, vision is a channel. So calcium channel is the channel which looks after all the nervous system. Nervous system means brain and nerves until the muscles because the whole function of the body is happening through the muscles. I'm moving my hand because of the function of the muscles. And these muscles move because of nerves and nerves move because of brain and brain moves because of thinking. So everything gets affected if calcium channel was not properly regulated and that will happen if vitamin D deficiency is there. By now you must have understood vitamin D deficiency has to be there because those rays are not reaching us and cholesterol is not there to convert with the help of those rays to convert into becoming vitamin D3. That means there is deficiency already and we are already stuck into so many other things. So calcium channel when is not well regulated, I forget things. I don't know how to make a decision. I'm not that, that, that intelligent now. I'm getting dull now. Mummy chidi chidi ho gai hai. My mother has become chidi chidi. It's irritating and all that stuff. So we can't make decisions. And also my hand is trembling. My cup doctor, doctorate falls down when I hold it. I can't walk properly straight. I have aches and pains in the body. My hands and feet are numb or have janjanat in those. And all those things are all because of calcium channel bad regulation because of deficiency of vitamin D. And that leads to also heart disease, blood pressure disease, brain disease, kidney disease, liver disease, every cell becomes weaker, hair get weaker, etc. So there are so many things which happen if vitamin D deficiency is there. And deficiency is definitely there in India because we are not fortifying our food. If we were fortifying the food, the deficiency would be a little less. And fortify means if you buy milk, there should be extra added D in it. If you buy biscuits, there should be D in it. If you buy juice, there should be D in it, which happens in most of the, most means 100% of the Western countries. Food is fortified with vitamin D, not in India. I don't know why, I don't know how. Nevertheless, I know exactly what, why happens in most of the second world countries. Thank you very much. I think I'll talk about how to take, how to bring your vitamin D to normal levels and how long do you have to take that vitamin D capsules or sachets or tablets some other time but for you to remember every single person in India in my experience every single Indian is vitamin D deficient children are much more deficient children need vitamin D from the very first day if mom had plenty vitamin D then D will go in milk whereas mothers also are deficient so that means vitamin D supplementation for every individual in India needs to be done from the very first day of their life. And it should continue till death. I've told my people, keep some capsules by the side of my um, pyre also. When you burn me, when you, what is it called? When you cremate me, keep some capsules there so that I can take it for the way to go upstairs somewhere. Thank you very much. Lovely to talk to you. Would be happy to answer any questions. Bye-bye.